Hi everyone, welcome to your PDA. This is Chandrasekhar, Faculty of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at your PDA. This video is about previously asked interview questions at Power Grid Corporation of India Limited for electrical engineering graduates. Uh, through gate examination from the subject power systems and some questions I am going to take up from electrical machines also. Okay, So, uh, for Power Grid Corporation of India Limited uh, interview preparation, the very important subjects are first place goes for power systems. Yes, there is no doubt in that. In the power system also, the areas like power system protection, okay, transmission, especially about transmission lines and uh, SCADA. Yes, uh, there is one area where uh, all of you must learn okay SCADA about SCADA also they may ask some question automation of collection of the data okay using SCADA uh, regarding SCADA also they may ask the questions previously one or two questions were asked in this uh, Power Grid Corporation of India Limited interview preparation so let's dive into the question yeah the first question is what is Ferranti effect uh, this is they always start whatever may be the interview they always start with very simple question first Ferranti effect all of us know the receiving end voltage is going to be more than sending end voltage during no load or light load conditions right now uh, how to reduce the Ferranti effect okay what are the various methods to reduce the Ferranti effect this way the questions keep on extending if you answer right the second question is what is corona what is electrical corona that also you know it very well what are the relays uh, used in power system it's not there what is the what are the various relays used in used in power system yeah so there are many types of uh, relays used power system you may be giving uh, some names like uh, uh, over current relay over voltage relay suppose if it is the protection of transmission lines uh, reactance relay more relay admittance relay impedance relay more relay and admittance relay both are same impedance relay right so uh, you keep on answering then they may ask some questions again from the answer what you given right next question what are the types of motors used in conveyors? Yes, what are the different types of motors used in conveyors? This is the question from electrical machines. And what is compound motor? Yeah, in DC machine you get a compound motor. Okay, a compound motor. There are two types of compound motors. One is cumulatively compound, another one is a differentially compound, long shunt, short shunt. De depending on the type of connection, okay, there is a lot of classification. What is short shunt and long shunt? What is doubling effect? Yeah. What is doubling effect? Yeah, so see, uh, in power systems, uh, in fault analysis, you might have been studied about doubling effect. Uh, initially, the fault current almost is same as that of the steady state fault current, almost double than that of the steady state fault current. If steady state fault current is IF, uh, during starting, uh, that fault current is two times of IF, uh, that is called as doubling effect. What are the reasons for doubling effect? Okay, so these things also can be asked. And uh, the circuit breaker on relay, we have to design based on doubling effect current or the steady state fault current. Okay, so these kind of many questions are possible when you, if you start answering for the questions what they are asking then again and again lot of questions are possible from the answer what you given right and uh, here in this video just I am discussing the questions and uh, it's a peripheral answer it's not completely in depth uh, in details I am going okay yeah next uh, what is the first pole to clear factor in circuit breaker yes first pole to clear factor uh, what, is, what what is that in the circuit breaker right uh, and how it is uh, going to be different for uh, uh, grounded fault and uh, ungrounded fault first pole to clear factor is going to be different for grounded fault and ungrounded fault and what is the significance of that they will ask you to explain right what is the prospective voltage in a circuit breaker yes prospective voltage in a circuit breaker yes uh, how it is going to affect our, our arc extinguish phenomena right so it will take a lot of time for me to explain each and everything in detail therefore just I am giving you the idea by taking the previous questions which were asked in the DRDO interview and how to prepare right next uh, why nuclear power generation generation is not utilized much in India yes uh, they will ask you the reasons why nuclear power generation is not uh, see nuclear power uh, is there in India but it is not as famous as that of uh, thermal thermal highest power generation is from thermal why thermal is more famous than nuclear there are several reasons like uh, nuclear waste uh, uh, it is very difficult to dispose the nuclear waste why because it is hazardous right and uh, see the threat by the nuclear power plant is more if you see nuclear energy itself is uh, dangerous right so therefore that is one of the reason so like this there are several reasons for that uh, those reasons you have to give them right next uh, do you know uh, any nuclear power plant in India do you have any idea about uh, any nuclear power plant in India yes there are several uh, nuclear power plant you can name them there is one nuclear power plant uh, at Kalapakam in uh, Tamil Nadu right next uh, 
what kind of generators are mostly used for power generation in India? Yes, uh, what generators we use mostly for power generation in India? That is uh, synchronous generators mostly we use. Why? Because synchronous generators are constant speed generators. Parallel operation is possible. See, three types of generators we have. Synchronous generator, induction generator and DC generator. There is no, uh, there is no point to talk about DC generators. DC generators we are not at all using for power generation. AC generators are induction and synchronous, right? Induction is uh, not a constant speed generator, therefore its uh, output frequency is not constant, therefore direct uh, parallel operation is not possible. But in, in, in windmills uh, or in tidal energy generation, so at that kind of places we have to go with induction generator only, but because the wind speed is not constant. Synchronous generators are mostly used in, yeah, not in India, synchronous generators are mostly used. Right? What is the difference between SF6 and air circuit breaker? Okay, for what voltage rating uh, SF6 is used? For what voltage rating air circuit breaker is used? And uh, what are the advantages of SF6 over air circuit breaker? Right? Those kind of questions can be asked. What is the technical term used for Kaplan turbine? Yes, uh, there are different turbines we have. Okay, uh, impulse turbines, reaction turbines, impulse turbines and reaction turbines. Okay, and uh, for uh, high uh, height uh, means uh, so, uh, see we have thermal generating stations and hydro generating station. In thermal, what kind of turbines are used? In the hydro, what kind of uh, uh, turbines is used? And uh, depending on the head, head, uh, what is the classification of the turbines? Having the idea of those things is also important, right? How does a circuit breaker operate? That is very simple operation of the circuit breaker. What is an arc? What is the difference between arc and spark? Okay, uh, arc is, uh, con see, until and unless we extinguish the arc, arc is going to continue. Spark is the one which comes and disappears uh, immediately. Okay, how do we quench the arc? There are several methods that depends on the type of circuit breaker what we are selecting, right? Next, yeah, next questions are, yes, uh, why we try to extinguish the arc at the arc uh, at the current zero point? Yes, at current zero point, the amount of current is zero, therefore the amount of coolant required to quench the arc at current zero point is going to be less how can we improve the transient stability okay see uh, stability is uh, divided into two parts uh, steady state stability and transient uh, stability right next uh, how to improve the stability there are several methods uh, by connecting uh, 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 by neutral grounding with the resistance resistance neutral grounding of the synchronous generator by connecting a flywheel or uh, by using a three pole circuit breaker or uh, i can say by using bundle conductors yes by using bundle conductors or with a series capacitor all these are the various methods of improving transient stability right how do we increase the stability of power system uh, when circuit breaker operates so if you are taking a fast acting circuit breaker then stability obviously going to improve fast acting circuit breaker the operation time of the circuit breaker must be less right what are auto reclose type circuit breaker okay uh, auto reclose circ uh, type circuit breakers are the breakers uh, where uh, the breaker is going to close uh, automatically Okay, next, uh, how are the duty cycle mentioned in the circuit breaker? See, sorry, every circuit breaker is going to have some nameplate details. So what the nameplate details of the circuit breakers are going to contain? That is very, very important. Either it is for DRDO preparation or power grid of, uh, corporation of India limited preparation, water may be the preparation about the circuit breaker or its nameplate details and about relays, it is very, very important. How much does time does it take uh, for a circuit breaker to break the circuit? What is the sub suppression time and the breaking time of a circuit breaker? In a circuit breaker rating, there is a time mentioned. What is its significance? As I told you about the nameplate details of circuit breakers, it is very, very, very important. So here it is not possible for me to explain each and everything in detail. So if you have any questions uh, with respect to your power grid interview preparation, yes, eight nine one double nine double nine seven zero five you can contact me yes uh, we will we uh, i will guide you how to prepare uh, for your power grid uh, corporation of india limited inter preparation just these are the few questions uh, few questions uh, i taken out of the questions asked in uh, power grid uh, interview preparation uh, last few years okay if you have any queries you can contact the mention number in the uh, on the board okay thank you